Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to size the entire duct system on a typical house. The first thing that must be done is to measure each room. Once each room is measured, calculate the square foot of each room. We accomplish this by multiplying the width times the length as shown here. For this room that measures 12 by 10, the square footage is 120. Once we have all the square footage calculated, we will add them together. In this example, our total square footage is 1268. We are going to assume that a proper heat load calculation has been performed and a two and a half ton unit is required. The CFM output is 400 CFMs per ton. So multiply 400 by 2.5, our tonnage of the unit, and our answer is 1000. So the system output is 1000 CFM. We divide this by our total square footage. Our answer is 0.788. We're going to round this number up to 0.8. Next, we multiply the square footage of each room by 0.8. This is our required CFM of each room. Next, get out the super cool slide rule. If you do not have a super cool slide rule, you should get one immediately. This is the best tool you will ever own that is under $20. We go to this area on the duct calculator and we select the window that we will need. This one is the one used for round metal. This one here is for flexible duct. And finally, this one here is for rectangular duct. In this example, we will be using flexible duct. In room one, the requirement was 96 CFMs. There are many ways to use the super cool tool, but the easiest is to index the required CFM directly under the 0.1 friction loss, which is also referred to as the static pressure. We use the 0.1 for all supply duct work and the 0.05 for all return air ducts. Indexing 96 under the 0.1 looks just like this. Next, we reference the flexible duct window and note that the closest duct size is seven inch. When between two duct sizes as shown here, always choose the larger size. Repeat this process for all supply ducts. Next, we size the return air duct. The return air duct is sized by indexing the total required CFM directly under 0.05. Now, to restate, we use 0.1 for all the supply ducts and 0.05 for all the return ducts. So our total CFM of the system was 1,000. We index it under the 0.05, looks just like this, and the required duct size will be 20 inch for a single return. If two returns are desired, then 500 can be indexed which would be 500 for each return duct. And the size would be two 16s or a 14 and a 16. Please keep in mind if any room has unusually high ceilings or if a room has lots of southerly facing windows, additional CFMs will be needed for that room. Add them in at the beginning before you do your calculations to allow for this. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned while we introduce the super cool slide rule. This is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It's guaranteed to save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. 
The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.